everybody, this is Marilu, and welcome back to Let's Play Don't Die Dateless Dummy. <laughs> um, I ended up having actually to check a walkthrough because there is another girl in this game who we have yet to meet, um, and I had to look at how to go about meeting her. So I've skipped all the beginning part because it's actually just following uh, Ellie's path until this point, and then I guess you move on from here. So uh, let's see what what there's left to do here. So, we went to the fair. Um, you talk with her, and you pretend to be smart or charming, and it fails. <laughs> the dreaded awkward silence. Try to be funny. Popping some jokes and some of that old humor totally backfired. You don't have enough charisma to pull it off. Ellie looks a bit annoyed. Is there anything you want to know about me? Uh, any plans for the weekend? Well, it's my birthday. Two of you finish chatting, spend the last day having a good time at the fair. After the day at the fair, you spend the rest of the weekend thinking about Ellie's birthday. Before you know it, Sunday's here. Go to the beach. Two of you spend a nice day at the beach. Oh, Marilu, you're sweet. Thanks for taking me here. After Ellie's birthday, you end up hanging out a couple more times, but she doesn't seem as into you as before. As if she suddenly lost interest, I guess you failed to charm her during these first couple of encounters. Maybe you said something wrong or chose to do the wrong things? Oh well, back to square one. Several years pass. That's kind of a jump. <laughs> So here I am, 27 years old, and I haven't gotten anywhere. It's funny that they should say 27. <laughs> I'm pretty much the point of no return for me. I mean, how do you expect any woman to want anything to do with some loser in his late 20s who has never been in a relationship? What went wrong? I mean, I remember at the beginning of college, I was pretty enthusiastic at turning a new leaf. I even talked to a couple of girls. What were their names? Emily and Lily? <laughs> anyway, I might as well go for one last hurrah. If I fail this time, it's over. Time to go balls out and fire up that fake confidence. <laughs> that sounds like something I'd say. Uh, you show up for the first day of work and are instructed to head up for the fourth floor. This is a story about a man named Stanley. <laughs> Uh, this building is pretty big. Hopefully there are some attractive ladies working here, or will they be old and married? Wow, I should work hard and get promoted to make the big book. Then getting dates will be easy mode, right? Sigh, I can only dream. The elevator door opens. Oh, hello hot stuff. Holding out your boobs like that. <laughs> A beautiful woman steps in. Bazongas! <laughs> Excuse me? Uh. Compliment. You know what I'm gonna say? Because <laughs> I wanna compliment her body, but I don't wanna get slapped in the face and come this far to fail, so. Compliment her body. Pervert! How dare you! Do you even work here? I'm a wizard! <laughs> Whoops, you haven't been in close proximity to such a bodacious babe for so long that you ended up saying something terribly uncouth. She reports you for sexual harassment and you get fired on your first day. You become a neat again and stay that way for three more years until your 30th birthday comes. <laughs> You're a wizard, Marilu. <laughs> oh, these games. Okay, good thing I saved. Beautiful woman steps in. Bazongas! Excuse me? Uh... Hi. Hi, my name is Bazongas. I mean Marilu. I was spacing out. I'm Marilu. It's my first day here. Oh, my name is Vera. Nice to meet you. Ah, and so it begins. The last effort of a desperate dimwit in the pursuit of love. I'll be working in the finance department. I see. Who's your manager? The elevator stops for third floor. Sorry, I have to get off here. Maybe we can continue this conversation later. See you around, Marilu. Sure. Bye. That went well, I guess. After taking care of all the first aid paperwork, you get settled and start on your first assignment. Man, no cubicles? How am I supposed to surf the web while I'm working? Psh! Guess I can't screw around here. Lunch rolls by. Guess I'll try to find 
a place nearby the office to get food. Hello again, heading out for lunch? Yeah. Um, would you like to try to kind of save again? <laughs> save! It's just so much text scrolling, I don't want to have to do it again. Would you like to join me? Sure, do you have any place in mind? Not really, I'm not familiar with this area, so I know a place nearby. It's my favorite. Wow, what a nice view. <laughs> what a nice view. <laughs> I know, right? To be honest, I haven't been here with other people much lately. I usually come here alone. I don't think I've ever gone to a restaurant by myself. I think that's just sad. But maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a restaurant is something you go to with other people. Why is that? I didn't get to tell you last time, but I'm a sales manager, so... Wow, that's really impressive. Right, I feel I worked hard to earn this position, but it seems I'm all alone now. What do you mean? I wanted to get to the top so people would respect me, but now most people are just intimidated by me. The only people that want to be around me all act fake and phony. I'd rather not have anything to do with them whenever possible. Sounds legit. So, how did you know I wouldn't be the same? I don't. Oh, she says, ha ha, I don't. I'm just tired of being lonely. You've passed the test so far. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad. The two of you have a nice lunch. Aw, time to go back to work. Aw. Arr. Finally, the day is over. How am I supposed to endure this for the rest of my life? People say to find a job that you love so you never have to work at a day in your life. But isn't that just a load of shit? It's a load of bollocks. After some point, the job just becomes a job again. You inevitably end up moaning and groaning like on Sundays like every, everyone else. You know what? I agree. I don't know if personally like there is a job that I could find that I'd be enjoyed doing for the rest of my life. I, I'm kind of the person that gets distracted easily, so I can only enjoy something for so long. But anyway, moving on. Uh, what you thinking about, Marilu? Thinking about myself. Retirement. <laughs> 27 and I'm thinking of retirement. Huh? Never mind. Where did you come from? I finally found you. I was thinking I, if you wanted to go get some drinks. Sure. Like I have anything else to do. Wait a minute, she's asking me to go get some drinks? Is this real life? It's good to unwind like this after a hard day, isn't it? Do you do this all the time? No, you're the first. I'd never go with those punks back at the office. I feel like I'm being used here. <laughs> anyway, how are you so driven? Oh, that was my, me saying that, sorry. What do you mean? I mean, you're a manager, right? How do you even do that at your age? Oh, well, back when I was in high school, I've always felt like those overachievers who got straight A's and studied all day were looking down on me like they thought they were better. I developed a huge chip on my shoulder and started trying to compete with them. Though in the end, I pretty much became one of them, huh? I wanted to make a lot of money so I would be the ones looking down. Be the one looking down. Sounds horrible, right? Yeah. <laughs> I ended up isolating myself from everyone. It only got worse when I started working. Everyone I, everywhere I looked, people were hired through connections. Screw that, I wanted to get interviews on my own. Get hired on my own. Work my way up on my own. Because of my merits, not because I knew someone. I agree. That is a very good policy. I hate it. I hate it when people are hired somewhere because, you know, they're the manager's nephew or the owner's, you know, whatever. I've had some bad experiences with people like that and it's just, it's terrible. You should get to where you are on your own back. You shouldn't be riding on the coattails of your parents or whatever. Anyway, little ran over. Um, sure, that's just how it is though. Shouldn't be how it is. Pain in the ass. Yeah, I feel better now, though, with you. Huh? Are you drunk already? Say, would you like to go back to my place? Oh, this can't go bad. That's fine with me. 
You're not like those other pricks, Marulu. How can you tell? I can just tell. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, please have a seat. I'll be right back. And she walks. She leaves and then she walks back in in her lingerie, right? Whoa, I've just met this chick and she already invited me over. Maybe I'm just that charming. Pfft. Yeah, right. Is she one of them crazies who will cut off my balls in my sleep? I don't have balls. Or I guess she was really desperate to find someone she felt some kind of connection to. Oh well, no use thinking about it. Biggers can't be choosers. Whoa! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bazongas! <laughs> well, it wasn't pretty. C congratulations! You somehow won Vera's affection after the first day of meeting her. What, were you expecting some kind of beautiful and intricate love story like the ones you find in visual novels? Kappa? What the hell is Kappa? Nah, this was just a case of two lonely people trying to fulfill their needs through each other. At least you won't turn into a wizard. The end. That sucks because Vera was like the coolest chick out of all of them. I totally agree with the shit that she said. Uh, okay, so that is all three endings of Don't Die, Dateless Dummy. And you know what? I had a blast playing that because it was just hilarious the whole time through. Um, extremely insulting to many different groups of people. But, you know, whatever. Just laugh and move on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can do, right? So, anyway, I'll say thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos on Booga's channel. Um, there's a lot of really funny uh, Let's Play videos over there. So, you can also check out my channel um, for a lot of other videos that I've done. And hopefully, we'll see you there. Bye!